Дикий, дикий, дикий запад. Через запад и восток. Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья. Ахайо, хайо, Казок ФМ Алисаны. Если вы слышите эту музыку и видите, во что мы играем, мы играем про родительницу судик по Запада. А это уже по счету четвертая часть Зова Хуареса. Ганслингер. И она намного лучше предыдущего проекта Картель, где было все в современном мире. Так что, в принципе, ставьте чаечек, кофеечек, приглашайте друзей, ставьте лайки, не забывайте про колокольчик. А мы посмотрим, что это за штучка. Так что присаживайтесь поудобнее. А мы посмотрим, чтобы все было негромко. Так. Окей, нам надо поставить игру плюс, потому что мы уже сюжетку проходили. Поэтому надо посмотреть, как будет работать игра новая плюс. Так, прогресс-то мы потеряем, а навыки надо снова приобретать будет, не пойму. Так. Ага. Так, на время не обращайте внимания. Допустим, обычное. Подойду, ребят. А вы пока ролик смотрите. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true. Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? I is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawmen who crossed it. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair-trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. Так, ребят, мы тут, вместе с вами. Ищите самородки истины. Ну, мы их искать не хотим всем. Эй, 
It was about 30 years ago. Yes. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinkin' Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that son of a bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. Ага, осталось, это хорошо. Дробовый. О, обрезанный. Это что-то покруче будет, да? Золотая винтовка. Да не, мне кажется, обрезанная будет получше. Ладно, посмотрим. Так, подожди. Коробки. Или... Хотел сказать кабачки. Кабаны, блин. Ну, кабачки тоже прокатят. В принципе. Так. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Yeah. What the hell? Shoot that some bitch! А что он дух стольный что ли? Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Yeah. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. Williams Knights. Fire at will! Spread out, goddammit! Come on! Get them from the left! They're coming from the rear! I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. Huh? So that's just what I did. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kid's apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Stay on it! Cover fire! Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. I knew that going through that front door meant putting my butt in a shooting gallery, so I decided to get sneaky. Garrett's men were running around like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. Still, one of them reached the water tower. Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Не будет третьего. 
так и думал, что будет. Then I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door, we'll cover you. Stop aiming, you idiots. Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. I cut their numbers in half, but that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. Papa, what? It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. Хорошо, будем знать. Так, что нам сюда? And like that, I was inside, none the worse for wear. А это своя. Deader than a rat in a trap. You think you can kill me too? Зря дверь открыл, да ладно, да? I passed Dirty Dave. And upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Baldry. Че, приколюх я тут не собирал? Нет? Совсем? Совсем, совсем, да? Ну ладно. Хотя бы так. Билли looked at me and said, "About time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window." Wait. So you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. I'm telling you, Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire! Shouted Billy. Get to the other side. Okay. I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. He 
directed that order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. Those bitches are done! Many would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack, he's just joshing with you now. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. <laughs> please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? We're heading for the barn. Ну, ну, типа, да, мы направились, конечно, да. Допустим. Right. Making my way past a passel of fallen foes. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Thanks. Finally. I had the stables within my reach. Музычка, конечно, прикольная. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. You challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. Тяжело, конечно. Да блин, давай. And that you killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. Хватайте лошадей по настоящему. А до этого все было не по настоящему, да? Курочка простит. After the fight, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. Отстрел. Жалких куриц. Ладно, шутим. Stepped inside, 
and BAM! Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on, how did it end? And, boy, that was just the beginning. <laughs> Честно убито, то есть там еще и дается время. Будем знать. Я просто хочу историю пройти. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah, after I came to, the bastard had clocked me with his colt. Billy Kit. And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. Тюрьма Линкольн. Ого, хорошо. He was with John Kinney's gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Luckily, it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. He shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape too. Okay. My first order of business was finding a firearm. Будем знать. Так, что тут у нас? Фонарики. И все, да? Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean ass shotgun. I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. Okay. Anybody see Billy? That little son of a bitch shot Jim Bell! Hell yeah. That scattered gun was like a double-barreled howitzer. It could blow a man clear off his feet. You hardly had to aim for that. The kid's escape raised a huge ruckus. Yeah, Guards were everywhere looking for him. Can't let the kid get away. Oh, вот это будет бомба. Anybody see him? I had to jump from roof to roof like a damn alley cat. I followed the planks where I could, but. Some of that wood was slippery as hell. The whole town was up in arms. And suddenly, I was a fugitive. Violence is not the answer. 
So that yes. bastard you were after, what did he do? He did me and my family a grievous harm. But I knew if I was ever going to find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. I tried to be stealthy and sneak my way past. This town didn't have a moment's peace. Blacksmith. But hell, if he weren't all waiting for me. Yep. Apparently, some of them thought I was Billy. You hooligans can go to hell. Yeah. I've got this town somewhere. See, me and the kid shared a certain similarity in build and color. I was just glad I had Deputy Bob's mean ass shotgun. They're shooting in the street! Surrender yourself! Так, минус тыква. За тыкву тоже дают. There's children here. So much lead was whizzing by my head, it was like everyone in Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. I knew I needed to find a horse. Though I never did have a great fondness for those four-legged grass eaters. Smelly, sweaty, ungrateful beasts. We prize them too high, if you ask me. I'm here! Give it up! I bet to the very deep. Даже игра еще и предупреждает об этом. Понимаю. But where was the kid while you were busy getting shot at? Gone. And that's when it occurred to me why Billy set me free. Ой, а тут нужно не такое оружие, то ты не попадешь таким. So I could be a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. I knew if I made it out of there in one piece, no one would put a price on my head. Because everybody in Lincoln would be dead? No. Because they all thought I was Billy. And all Whoa. that blame would fall on him. <laughs> Meanwhile, Deputy Bob Ollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. He was already a mean son of a bitch, but he was doubly pissed that I stole his mean ass shotgun. Anyway, it was me or them, and the only way forward led me straight to perdition. But the cards were dealt, and I had no choice but to play them. You won't get away with this! Ah, А дальше что? Другие черты. Допустим. Получи негодяй. Ой. Извиняюсь. Я вот что-то пригле... проглядел, товарищи. С 
Самое интересное, что я эту игру бесплатно профукал. То есть все банально, никто мне не сказал о том, что она есть бесплатно. Мне пришлось через аккаунт друга ее устанавливать. Потому что даже через семейную библиотеку, ребят, я не смог в нее поиграть. То есть Steam сказал, даже если это игра твоего друга, плати бабки. Кошмар, а она стоит дорого. 800 рублей. Я бы не стал даже за такое. То есть, понимаете, когда бесплатная игра, и за 800 рублей, конечно, ты выберешь бесплатно, чем 800 рублей. Вот. Так что... Мне не повезло забрать ее бесплатно. Фокус, фокус. О, а чё фокус сбивается, не пойму. Типа нельзя, что ли? Да, давай, блядь! Я убил его в хорошей Все видели, что у меня не было никакого Линкольн got a might depopulated that day. Pat Garrett gunned down Billy three months later, so his escape was all for naught anyway. Что погнали? Дальше. So where'd you go after Lincoln? Mexico. Until I realized nobody was looking for me. I ended up taking a job with the Rurales. The Mexican Rurales? I was hired to help them track down the Cowboys. Episode two, Cowboys. The most vicious outlaw gang in Cochise County? Curly Bill Brocious, Johnny Ringo, led by old man Clan himself. They must have paid you a pretty penny to take them on, Brazon. Not really. But truth be told. I had my own reasons for going after those boys. Поля для старика. Окей. Каньон. So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Да, Ringo. And yes, he was working for old man Clown. Так, обрезанная винтовка. Изысканный обрез. взять обрезанную винтовку что ли и пистолеты можно и так в принципе I did my best to help those poor passengers. God damn you! Moments later, the attackers were dead, and I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. Проверь. None. 
It was then I wondered if the rocks weren't hiding more bandits. Was that all of them? Or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attack from on high like Apaches often did. Тяжело попасть в этих индейцев. They would appear in great numbers from above and rain down lead on their hapless enemies' heads, making use of the high ground and whatever else they have. Hey. Yep, the Apaches always appeared out of nowhere, and there never seemed to be an end to them. Да блин. Hold on, were you attacked by Apaches? What happened to the cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's cowboys attacked me Apache style. <laughs> I was in a pitched battle, but I was holding my own against an overwhelming enemy force. <laughs> See, at the time, I was still pretty green, but often blunder into regrettable situations. <laughs> But I just kept shooting and anything I could see up in those damn rocks. I didn't see Ringo, but I knew he was with the Cowboys. He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong, and I was determined to have my revenge. But to get to Ringo, I knew I'd have to find my way past these other assholes first. Hey. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, I was running out of ammo. Another perfect example of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. Finally, they managed to corner me. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed pretty slim. Luckily, serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. I ran ahead as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, but I wasn't about to roll over and die. I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking? Going up against a gang like this. I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. And that's when something miraculous happened. Like mana from heaven. I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. Bat Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good, and he would know. And imagine my surprise when I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. That stroke of good fortune evened the odds and bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. Time. All right, Jesus, we get it. They were right where you wanted them. That's right, Jack. I was done running, and the old man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. 
I came at them like a wildcat. My fury knew no bounds. Oh, I'm Hey, fucking run. It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. Get out here, you coward! Чё, никак, что ли, или только? Через ту скалу, что ли, можно только через верх попасть? Чё? А, точно. Я прям прав. Один из трех. I yelled out at the top of my lungs. Planton, I'm coming for you! A little stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. Because that old fool had a Gatling gun and enough bullets to last him till kingdom come. But I knew I could not let that deter me. Not if I was to find and kill Ringo. I needed to get that old man off that gun. Call of Duty, man. Let me come to the party. Блин, а места красивые. Тут вообще не поспоришь, ребят. Места прям бомба. Блин. Твою мать! Я не добежал. Most everyone thought it was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon. But it was just me. Da yo per sete. Apparently, one of the cowboys made it out of there alive, and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps, and that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the Old K Corral. Thanks. Pagnaya. Co dalsze? Перестрелка у лесопилки. Да, местечко тут прикольно. A few weeks after that dust up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. I had tracked him and the cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill, and they were loaded for bear. В принципе, тут можно сделать скрин. 
Так, что взять бы? Что на пистолетиках что ли? Или на обрезах? Вот это в принципе враги близко будут, поэтому наверное обрезы и дробовик. Пусть, наверное, будет золотая винтовка. Блин, сейчас чихну. <связь> Блин, извините, ребят. Да. So, what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. First, I need to tell you about the cowboy's new boss, Curly Bill Brocious. Herb's coming! Get ready, boys. <laughs> Curly Bill took charge of the cowboys upon the old man's demise, and after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. So they murdered Morgan Earp and grievously wounded his older brother Virgil. Wyatt and Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride, hunting those outlaws down. So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. Да. Чувак, ты меня бесишь уже. Да-да, именно ты сам. Нафиг пошел. Да, блядь, ты тоже. Killers around every corner, all wearing red bandanas. But I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed, and that's what drove me forward. They say that Ringo was infernally fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. Earp wasn't much of a match for him. But Doc Holliday might have taken it. That longer should have kept his nose out of it. They never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earp. But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Yeah, maybe so. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. Well, to get to that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzz saws as big as a man. Так, ребятки. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clanton died, why didn't his son take over the cowboys? Because Ike Clanton was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. Прикольно, логично, в принципе. Лучшие друзья ковбоев это дробовики. Так, мини дробовики. Так, стакс. Now, where was I? Taking down the entire cowboy gang single-handed. Indeed I was, Jack. Ah, 
Got him. Double that. Though it wasn't easy, as those boys had good cover. Так, ребятки хотят мой динамит, да? Получили? Черт. Кто там еще? Все? Или еще будет? О, туалетчики мои любимые. Блин, ну самое главное, что физика в плане этих читоносцев в деревне эти не разлетаются. Ребятки, а как вам динамит, а? Что за фигня? Кто меня палит? There were carts everywhere, piles of lumber, and God knows what else for people to hide behind. That really was one hell of a sawmill. Quite an impressive operation. Адская лесопилка. Прям как Валанвейки. Кто в курсе, что такое адская лесопилка? В принципе, по факту, да? And where was Curly Bill? Did you see him? I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. Терпение, Бен. I'm painting a picture here. There was this beautiful waterfall and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly. Consider your picture painted. What happened next? Well, finally the bastards that were still alive made a last stand. Ну да, вода под красивый. Тут не поспоришь. И водопад, и вообще много чего. Так. Хм. А, еще и вот этот водопад. Прикольно. Будем знать. Yeah. Да, водичка прикольная. О, здесь страшня начнется, помню, помню, сейчас. Curly Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. Да начнется кипиш, да? Клопнет, зарядит. Курчавый Бил. Бил, случайно. Are you saying they ran? Cowardice was not in Ringo nor Curly Bill's nature. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. They just wanted me out of the open. You working for Wyatt Earp? Did that son bitch Earp send you to kill me? Brocious gave me no choice but to take his life. But Ringo was nowhere to be found. I knew you didn't kill Ringo, because he was found dead in a different location altogether. To this day, his killer is still unknown. 
Indeed. Took me a few months before I finally tracked his ass to West Turkey Creek Canyon. Все-таки оказывается, сначала будет этот. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Блин, попробовать бы еще его честно грохнуть. Блять, где моя концентрация? Блять. Я так и знал, что я пулю славлю. Блин, я в курсе, просто, блин. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed. Блин. Просто, блин, мышка очень медленно, блин, передвигается, это жопа. Да, блядь. Ну я не мог его честно. Sorry, I had to ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. Ну и насрать. Doc Holliday had nothing to do with the death of Johnny Ringo. Пофиг. I was paid a healthy bounty for Ringo and Curly Bill, and realized there was real money to be made. That's why I went after Henry Plummer. Я недолго. Now wasn't he the sheriff who augmented his income by shaking down miners and robbing gold shipments? That's the one. Oh yeah, I remember him. He ran that gang of thieving outlaws called the Innocents. So it's true that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Indeed I did, son. Indeed I did. I knew I needed resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant, and hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits, and put a generous price on his head. Plumber rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape, and that's where I thought I'd find him. Сейчас я наушники одену, ребят. Опа, на. Прокрутили барабан. Значит, ты крутой еблан. Ладно, шучу. 
Шуточки за 400-200. Так. Если вам немного за 30 или за 300... Шахта. К шахтерам идем. Золото их не пиздить. Да, ребят? В принципе. Так, сколько там по времени прошло? А, только час. Еще, еще можно поиграть. Эй. Что-то я там этого овцепаса не приметил изначально. Слово изначально, ну да ладно. Тут уже как аукнется, ребят, да? Аукнется и... I knew that dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. There were thieves and killers, robbing travelers and hijacking gold shipments. Да блин. Like those that ran with Plummer. Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. James, who worked in the stable. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's son. Ordinary citizens who lived a double life. Люди, которые вели Да. Капец. Course, arrest were veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Серьезно? Он не уничтожается? Пламмер had a lot of men on his payroll, a hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to breach. Dangerous, desperate individuals. I was outnumbered and in way over my head. But I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. The blind. They must have thought I was stupid. Or had some kind of death wish, seeing as there were barrels of gunpowder everywhere. Watch out for the goddamn gunpowder! One stray bullet, one stray spark, and I'd be blown to hell and gone. I thought I was some kind of hero. I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. Okay. But first, 
I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine, but once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Ладненько. Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. And that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. Single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. Будем знать. I'm here. Э, если бы я ещё знал, куда что. Так, вниз. Пещеры. Quick reflexes often make up for a lack of common sense. Luckily, I was never one to be easily bushwhacked. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. Gunpowder and dynamite everywhere. A body has to know what he's shooting at. Come out, you yellow bastard! Uh huh. I'll put you down. Ah! All it takes is one tiny spark, and boom. Это дробовик. А самородок где? Подожди. Это? Непонятно, как они вообще туда его спрятали. One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dad blasted too. Why you might? I freely admit that my plan of attack was not just moronic, but clearly insane.
Валим. It's a good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan before I even tried it. Instead, I spotted a ladder. A way into the mine from the opposite side. Типа этот план был провальный, да? Ну окей. It was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. Of course, being I had a problem with heights, that scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Because even though I had a younger man's reflexes, no man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. I needed to make a leap of faith. Как я не допрыгнул, вопрос. Да в смысле? С хрена ли он не допрыгивает, этот баран? Вы что, издеваетесь? Да ну нахер, вы гоните? Наконец-то. Да в смысле? Что за тупость? Вот просто... А -а -а -а. С какого перепугу этот баран не допрыгивает? Я не пойму, что за глюк. Вот вы видите? Сцена не появляется. Какого хрена? Что за... Ну, конец. Мне никто не предупредил, что во время падения нужно нажать гребаный пробел. Когда вигиланты узнали, что люди That ten thousand they put on his head would go a long way to helping me find old Bob. And I had made it my mission to settle that score come hell or high water. First, I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator or climb the ladder. Ладно, будем думать, что самородок либо вверху, либо... Ого, они его запрятали, мать твою. Самородок, блин. Эй, чуваки, откуда вы знали, что я появлюсь? В прошлый раз они не знали, а теперь что-то у них прям у ребята Шевчука заработало, типа, а там кто-то поднимается. Так, а дальше что? Сюда? 
Glomer was a mad dog killer. Oh. And the people of Nevada City deserved better. Nevada City? Well, I thought Plummer met his maker in Bannock, Montana. Right, well, he was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. The point was, taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. Люля кебаб делают не только не только ребят из собаки, но еще и с хьюмом. Так, сюда что ли? О, сейчас этот хрен будет. Понимаю. Веселый отступник. Как веселый молочник будет сейчас, походу. Хенри Пламмер был clearly unhinged, и я could see right away that this was gonna take some doing. Смысле? А, его помощнички пришли, да? Бля. Раунд два. Эй, в смысле? Подожди. Плама. Какова твоя профессия, Плама? Плама как Пламер, да? Блять! Не трюшки, колотушки. Не прямо в чекушки. Так, подожди. Ах, вы гады. Раз. Два. Три, блядь. Все. Наконец-то мы это прошли. Тейкс. So, did you finally go after that Bob feller? Well, I heard word he was in Kansas with John Wesley Hardin. So that's where I went. Where in Kansas? Abilene. Why do you ask, Ben? No reason. Was Hardin as fast as Ringo? Ringo was fast, but John Wesley was as fast as the devil himself. Hell, he killed his first man at 15. From that day forward, he had a price on his head and wouldn't back down for nobody, not even Wild Bill Hickok himself. Я помню это место. I dodged death many a time, and that night in Abilene was no different. Эй, что-то сразу я даже среагировать не успел. И Джон Батон. I was there with the intention of finding that bastard Bob and collecting the bounty on John Wesley. 
Нам этого Уизли из Гарри Поттера надо найти, да? Шуточки. It yeah. was cold in a witch's tit and a brass bra that night as I fought my way past his loyal compadres. Mm -hmm. Ну что, все, погнали. Мутить муточки. To the very same saloon we're sitting in today. Look around and imagine this place painted in blood. Harden was waiting for me, and... Uh, я даже самородок не успел подобрать, блин. Wait, I'm jumping the gun here. Let me back up and give you some background on this some bitch. Hmm. He deserves that much. Don't you think so, Ben? John Wesley Harden was a killer. By the end, he confessed to taking the lives of 42 men. Fathers and husbands, brothers and sons, men with families who cared about them. Families who put up money in hopes of finding justice. He was a bona fide folk hero by then, and had amassed a gang of armed miscreants and other assorted thugs. He and his men set up camp outside of town, and I was hoping Bob was among them. Shit, it's cold out here. Freezing my giblets on. Hey, right, we gotta stay out here keeping watch like this. Ain't nobody stupid enough to go after Hardin anyway. Better three hours early than a minute too late. They didn't ask why I was there. They knew. As most of them were wanted as well. I had to spill a lot of blood to find out Hardin wasn't in that camp. He was carousing in town with his closest friends. Hardin's boys apparently didn't want me to reach the bull's head. Some were hightailing it into town to inform their jefe of my unwelcomed presence. Не, пистолетики мне, наверное, еще пригодятся. I wondered if Bob was among them. Doc. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I steeled myself for the fight ahead. For as good as I was, deep down I wondered if John Wesley wasn't just a little bit better.
Ладно, попробуем его, наверное, завалить. Before I could test my metal against Harden, however, I would first need to dispatch his cadre of hired killers. Most of these degenerates were beyond redemption, but John Wesley might have been a different story. I didn't learn until later that that night was in fact his birthday celebration. Специальный фейерверк для Казоку Фэмили. Смотрите. Фейерверк для Казоку. Блин. Чуваки, дайте фейерверкам вам наслаждаться. Давай еще раз. Фейерверк для Казоку Фэмили. Ну... I think I already mentioned that I found Hardin in this very saloon. Чё, всё? Фермер закончился так быстро? О, она даже красивая, нифига себе. Приколюхи. Бычья голова, по-моему, Баллс Хэт. О, прикольно. Suffice it to say, nobody there was happy to see me. Да блин. Чувак, умри. In fact, I felt a certain hostility. Да блин. Пианино, где самолет? I was disappointed that neither Bob nor John Wesley were among the dead. But that was short-lived, as a moment later I was facing down the fastest gun in the West. Пофиг, наверное. и убил Захра. I felt a bolt of adrenaline. Or maybe that was fear. He was well known for his tricks. And I knew I'd need my own if I was ever to defeat him. Да блин, ну давай увеличивай это, а. Джокера надо завалить. Да блин! Давай нахуй! That man was faster than Grease Lightning, but being inebriated as he was, he didn't count his shots. And now, he was at my mercy. So he didn't die? 
No, I sent him to prison. Years later, after he was free, some restless Avenger took his life. Shot him in the back in a saloon just like this one. Anybody up for another beer? Ben? 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 Погнали дальше. Thank you, darling. Yeah, some say revenge is a dish best served cold. So whatever happened to that Bob guy you were after? Personally, I'd like to hear some of your other adventures. Like, uh, I don't know, did you ever go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a red man? Yes, I did, Ben. I remember once I was after this renegade Apache, Grey Wolf. Strangely enough, revenge was also his primary motivation. с отступниками вот места тут будут красивые я помню a bounty was put on gray wolf's head and that's how i came to hunt him in the mountains Mountains so high they tickle the nether regions of heaven. Grey Wolf was a Chiricahua Apache medicine man who had led a war party in revenge for a massacre against his people. The U.S. Army had attacked his tribe during his daughter's sacred sunrise ceremony, and the slaughter was unspeakable. I understood his anger. As there's nothing more traumatic than seeing those you love die in a cruel and painful death. Да, вот это место, кстати, красивое. Как по мне. Так. Да, атмосфера, в принципе, прикольненькая, я бы сказал. Не только это. Блин, горы, конечно, прикольные. Right from the beginning, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. He led a band of young Apache warriors who wanted retribution and were more than willing to die for him. Или так сделать скрин. Я в этих скринах, блин, запутаюсь скоро. В хороших скринах. Не в плохих, ребят. Так. Сохраняшка была. Да? Ух ты, блин, какие локации прикольные. О! Минус один. Не в обиду, дружище. Да, прикольное местечко. Леса, водица. Нельзя не удивиться, да? Хм? Приколюхи. They saw me before I saw them. Да. 
я понимаю, сейчас на него будет нападать, да? Кто еще? And it crossed my mind that maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But now that the shooting has started, there was no backing down. Опа-на. Дробовик. И... Я даже не знаю, брать или нет. Эй! Вот гады. It was rugged country, the winter home of the Cherokees, and that's why they had retreated there. I admit to having some regrets about going after them the way I did. But then again, Серьезно? Капец. Ну ладно. Бывает. Чё? Да... Чё я кашу да? Так. Вот этих лучше не допускать. Они один раз ударят. И сделают из меня... Шашлык. Did you find Grey Wolf? Not at that moment. But I did find the entrance to their hideout. Ha! Лора Я думаю, тут и все поняли прикол. A deep crevice that led to a deeper cave. Don't tell me you went in there. Yeah, but it's not out of bravery so much as pure angry cussedness. Ой. Я случайно кое-что дёрнул. Так. Да ёпрас это подождите. Случайно ш шнурочек, блин, дер дернулся нафиг. Разыщите в пещерах серого волка, да? Так, подожди, а что нам назад? А, это подожди, мы типа могли заплутать, что ли, в этом плане, да? Я походу понял, да? Или я ошибаюсь, да? А, вот они, блин, я чуть не сразу их заметил. Этих чуваков. See, back then, I had a stubborn streak a mile wide, and I wasn't about to back down. So it was like pitch black in there? Actually, it was pretty well lit, as they had torches on the walls. 
Здесь какая-нибудь приколюха будет, нет? Нифига, да? Печаль. is Kay. Big as hell, Ben. Chiricahua had hit out there during the Indian Wars. Ну да, где еще индейцам прятаться, как не в пещерах? Логично. Если они, в принципе, были пещерными людьми. Они ко всему этому адаптировались. Кстати, на самом деле, история индейцев интересна. Многие говорят, что... Они думали, что это было заметно с гостями тех, кто умерли в гостях. Эта кавка была заметна с мертвыми индейцами? Хм... Многие думают, что не интересна история этих индейцев, но на самом деле интересна. Они верили в разные штуки, не только это. Вообще, их история интересна. Ну... Ой. Как по мне интересно, не знаю, многие скажут фигня, но я историю всегда любил, не только историю России, но и историю вот этого всего. Поэтому, в принципе, кому интересно, могут потом про них что-нибудь интересное прочитать. То есть мы же не просто в игры играем, иногда игры, вот особенно вот такие, они дают какие-то интересные ис... ну, как, факты. Вот, да. Правильное слово сказал факты. Не всегда же просто там тупо не думать, не задумываться. А некоторые вот проекты заставляют как сказать, не чем-то интересоваться. How come you know so much about engines? A few years back, I was married to two mescalero women. At the same time? Yeah, they were sisters. Religiony is traditional among the mescalero. So what happened? Well, I had to get out of there. Those girls never shut up. Both of them nagging at me all the time. Drove me half crazy. I haven't seen them since. No, I mean, what happened with Grey Wolf? <laughs> oh, well... I pursued him into the cave of death. А он намек дал о женщинах, которые постоянно его пилили. Забавно. Прикольный прикол, кстати, такой типа юмор. Так, ладно. Мы уже практически дошли, да? До места назначения, да? О, секретики что ли? Я секрет нашел. И нелегкий секрет. Ну да ладно. Суть не в этом. Блин. Ну я думаю, наверное, на этом закончить на самом интересном месте. А, в плане, наверное, этого индейца. Наверное, или как его там зовут. Хотя... В принципе. Или про. А, подожди. Сейчас же, по-моему, ничего сложного не будет. По-моему. I came upon this flooded grotto, and that's when I saw him. He came to me unarmed and unafraid. His voice echoed in the shadows. And I sensed he meant me no harm. You carry great darkness in your heart, and if you do not release it. It will claim your soul. The sound of his voice put some kind of ancient Indian spell on me. As his story unfolded in my mind, 
You will come to this place again and kill many more men, and the darkness will grow until it consumes everything that you are. The soul would have no rainbow if the eye had no tears. He said I was a great warrior, a coyote man, unequaled by any other pale-faced warrior, or something like that. The snakes will bite shadows of your past until a venom poisons your heart, and an echo of the song of the dead summons the spirits deep from within the mountains. I didn't quite get what he was saying, but there were definitely snakes. And indeed, his warriors surrounded me and attacked me like hungry wolverines. They couldn't stop me though, and Grey Wolf wasn't in the mood for idle talk. Блин, я вообще не успеваю читать, о чем речь. Нет, реально. Тяжеловато. Ну кто там еще? Где? Вот этот, все. Так. Ну окей. Окей. I swear I couldn't see any way out of this trap. But suddenly one just appeared. Kind of like a miracle. I felt like I would be lost in that damn cave forever. Finally, I found myself back outside, perched on the edge of a precipice, overlooking a thundering white water river. To get where I was going required several leaps of faith, but no way in hell I was turning back. Блин, я даже знал, что сейчас будет, либо не долет, как обычно. Блин, да нет, получилось в этот раз. I chased after him. Determined to make him explain the meaning of all that mumbo jumbo. Hmm. Mumbo jumbo is right. Are you making this all up as you go? A few details may be fuzzy, brother, but I am relating exactly what happened to me. Так, ребятки, сейчас я на минутку отойду. особо не собирались отлучаться так сейчас наверное эту главу пройдем и наверное на этом стрим завершу О. блин капец и тут красавенько так. There were dozens of Apache warriors aiming at me from on high. Dozens? Well, maybe not dozens, but there was a lot of them. At least three or four. Well, more than that, little lady. Опа. 
Ого, дальний какой. И не один. Дальний был. Понимаю, понимаю, как он пытался его найти, этого индейца. И походу мы его здесь найдем. And да? wouldn't you know it? That crafty son of a bitch led me right into a trap. S what kind of trap? Yeah. Well, son, uh -huh. there had to be at least a yeah. hundred Apaches yeah. around me. What? A hundred? God be my witness. <laughs> oh, come on. Who are you kidding? Hey, I believe you. Come on, tell us how it ended. All right, but I'm not gonna drag this out. Where were we? You were surrounded by a hundred Apache warriors. Well, I didn't take the time to count them exactly, but there were a lot of them. And in the end, a path appeared before me that I had not seen before. I followed it as I desperately needed to find out what Grey Wolf was trying to tell me. Okay. But it was like that some of bitch disappeared into thin air. Ну, бывает, да. Never did find him. And never did collect my goddamn bounty. Бывает. Thank you, darling. It's interesting how the truth can sometimes seem uh, might malleable, depending upon your point of view. Like how those dime novels make you out to be something you're not? Jack, don't be starting trouble. No, he's right. They do tend to exaggerate. Did they exaggerate your part in taking down the Daltons? Well, I was there in the flesh, boy, so I saw what happened firsthand. Just a episode. Those Daltons were lawmen once, before they all went bad, robbing banks and trains clear across the territory. Until Coffeeville, of course. I was one of the citizens who took up arms that day. Fighting on the side of right? I did my best, sir. We all did. шестая глава, да? Меня зовут охотниками за головами. It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith, and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the Dons got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. Oh. 
почти два часа. Но сейчас да уже чуть-чуть. Finally, the bastard took his brothers to Coverville just to shut her up. Right. It's always the woman's fault. Well, the locals recognized the Daltons right off. Before they could get away, half the town took up arms to defend their property. Their first mistake was pulling a job in their own damn stop. hometown. Ah. The boys grew up in Coffeeville, so everybody knew them. The bank teller tricked them, telling them the time lock on the safe wouldn't open till 9.30. Well, that gave the locals enough time to prepare an ambush for those sons of bitches. У нас тут ничего вроде бы нету, да? The brothers pay dearly for their stupidity, but everybody knows they had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. First of all. It was high noon. A posse of U.S. deputy marshals were on the rooftop across the street. Aha, мужик уже говорит по другому. Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. The lawmen had been tracking the Daltons for months. Now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunter feared by many a lawbreaker. This man had no intention of letting the Daltons slip away. The marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up eventually. We just gotta wait for some of the bitches out. This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. He went in there alone to confront those criminals. One of the marshals shouted, Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? That right was mine. But he paid him no mind. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. Now, Mishko. Mishko, Mishko. From above. Fortunately, a water tower was right there. A moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. It was brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. Oh, не хотелось бы, чтоб не допрыгнул. И не только башня, да. We've got company. Да. Надо конец уже. Heroic men like him who did what other men couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free. Jim Bowie and Davy Crockett, who died defending the Alamo. Is that Silas Greaves? Son of a bitch! Sorry, son of a bitch! You can't hide from me! Don't. Он реально думал, что уйдет от моего 
дробовичка. А, здесь мы, наверное, в прошлый раз что-то находили, да? Блин. Вот как малой решил историю переиграть, да? Ну окей. Только я помню, что... His name was Silas Greaves. And when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. It was early evening, not high noon. Uh -huh, woke up. I was late to the party, and Coffeeville was already up in arms. Не пойму, а куда делся этот? Ты издеваешься? Какой скрин сделал, блин? Что-то тут вообще присело в ФПС. Dalton's blew up a safe, and we're all set to hightail it out of there. Локация что ли такая? Из дробовика не порежешь никого. Особенно здесь. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. Братья Далтоны. Ну да. I had been tracking those jokers for months. Waiting for them to do something reckless. And finally, they did. Those stupid bastards decided to rob two banks at the same time in the same town where everybody knew them. But they still had friends in Coffeeville. Туалетчик, блин, реально, дверки от туалетов спиздили. И все. Не, ну реально дверки от туалета, ребят. Чего? А, это у меня оружие блестит, блядь. Я думаю, что у него там блестит. Так, ну я думаю, наверное, отсюда погоню оставить. Мы, в принципе, как раз уже первый стрим нормально так поиграли, я думаю. Так что спасибо всем, наверное, за внимание. Мы, наверное, встретимся в следующий раз. Я, наверное, даже в меню выйду, чтобы в меню поговорить. Вот. Так что всем спасибо, что смотрели, ребята. Всем до новых встреч. Ставьте лайки, приглашайте друзей. Не забывайте про колокольчик и про казоку Фэмали. Аригато всем и Джан и Джана. То есть пока-пока. Всем до новых встреч, ребятушки. А всем пока-пока.